Hey guys, what's up? John and Casey here from flymikealpha.com and today we're going to be walking you through how to do an appropriate passenger safety briefing. So every time before you go fly, regardless of who you're flying with, really crucial to do a passenger safety brief and today Casey's my passenger and he's never been in an airplane before. This is his first time in a little airplane and we're going to go ahead and brief him up, get him ready to go. So we'll get right to it. Small airplanes scare me, John. You'll be all right. You'll be all right, friend. <laughs> I'm here to keep right. you safe. All right, good. So guys, how I like to start off these briefs is to follow a checklist. Whether you got it on your iPad, it's a hard card, whatever it is, I actually like using a laminated checklist and handing it right to the passenger. It's got a lot of good information on it for them to read while I do my pre-flight. So while I'm walking around the airplane, it gives them something to keep busy so they don't rush me through my pre-flight as I'm doing my walk around externally. Next, once we finally do get into the airplane, there's a few things I wanna go through with them. First of all, how your seatbelt works. That's a required thing from the FAA, how the seatbelt works and how the door works. So your seatbelt's over on your right-hand side and it works just like your car seatbelt. It's gonna come down here, buckle in, that goes across your lap, snaps in, and to undo it, you're gonna press there and of course, adjust it accordingly so it's nice and comfortable, so it's low and tight across your lap and uh, not choking you out there. So as far as getting out of this airplane, a few different ways we can do it. So there's an emergency escape hatch here where we would twist and then push out on the door. There's a door right behind us with a normal door handle and same one as this door right over here. Normal door handle, just like on your car, pull it to open, push the door open, you'll be able to get out. Uh, your side doesn't open, so you're gonna have to crawl over my dead body to get out of this airplane. <laughs> um, I will be the first one out of the airplane. That's why you're in the right seat. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, not a problem. Safety first. Luckily for me, the seat can slide all the way back to the rear door, so. Yeah, well, you can try to beat me out the back door too if something goes really wrong. Sounds good. All right, next thing I want to talk about is how your seat actually works. So you're familiar with sliding the seat forward and back. It's just that, just like in your car, you pull up on that handle down below, you can slide forward and back, adjust yourself. Now, I want you to be adjusted comfortably where you can see and everything, but try to make sure your feet aren't gonna be resting on those pedals down there. Those pedals are my rudder pedals and also my brakes. So make sure that when you're stretched out in the airplane, you're nice and comfortable, you're not gonna be resting your feet up there. So have it slid far enough back yep. that uh, that won't interfere with you. Right. Uh, Good to go. Awesome, very cool. Next thing, as in case you haven't noticed, it's Florida and it's really, really hot. Mm -hmm. So there are some air vents. Once we get this thing fired up, there's gonna be a fan blowing on us. That's gonna help. And then it's also, as we take off, there's gonna be a lot of airflow through the cabin. It's gonna be coming out of that vent right there. If it's too much, you can just close the vent. And that's pretty much all we got for temperature controls in here. There's really not a hot, cold knob like you'd find in, uh, in your car. There's a uh, heater knob for me. And because I'm the one flying, I'll determine the temperature. And you let me know if it's not right for you, but I'm probably not gonna listen to you. Okay. So yeah, just w whatever works, you know. Uh, aside from that, if you feel uncomfortable at all, if it is too hot, too cold, uh, especially if it's too warm and you're feeling a little nauseous, just let me know. Uh, there are six sacks right behind me. So if you do feel a little nauseous at all, let me know. You know, maybe there's something I can do to improve it. Choose a different altitude to fly at or something like that. But right behind me, there's a little six sack. Don't hesitate to grab it and please use it. It's a lot easier to throw that out than to clean it up all off my lap. So I'd really greatly appreciate that. So don't aim in your direction? Not in my direction, no. Okay. Um, feel free to slide your seat all the way back when using the six sack. <laughs> okay. Yes. Fire extinguisher and the location of it, okay? So in case we do need the fire extinguisher today, very unlikely that we would use it, but in case you get to it before I do, it's located right here on my side. I'm probably gonna be able to get to it first. It's just a simple latch you lift down, just like undoing your toolbox, flips open, grab the fire extinguisher, pull the pin, aim, and shoot. That's about all there is to it. Uh, like I said, very unlikely we'll be using it. And uh, if we do need to use it and I need you to use it instead of myself, I'll give you instructions at that time of how to do so and where I need you to aim it. Uh, as far as latching these doors, I'm gonna be responsible for latching this one and our back passenger door. But it's just a simple pull and that's it. There's not really any special latch procedure or lock to it. It's basically like a car door. Just like a car door, exactly. So as far as emergency equipment <laughs> on board here, uh, we've got the fire extinguisher. We've got life jackets in the back, should we ever need them. Uh, the airplane will land on water just fine, stay upright and float actually. And then the doors, if for some reason the door handle doesn't work as normal, there's an emergency exit procedure. You just simply push down on this little red tab here and that will force the door to open. It'll bypass the latching mechanism. So there is an emergency exit procedure that's placarded on that door there, as well as the door behind you, if you need to use it there. Now, John, I see this aircraft, the propeller is very close to your, to your door. Is that something we have to worry about? Um, 
only if uh, you want to get out while it's running. I would. That's the other reason why I put you here where you belong in the right seat. <laughs> okay. uh, we absolutely positively will not be starting the engines or having the engines run when the doors are open at all. Seatbelts will be fastened, doors will be closed, you'll be secure in the airplane. Okay. Plus, we're going to be doing a very good visual scan, making sure no one else is near the airplane. If you ever see anybody around the airplane before I'm starting up or getting dangerously close to us, speak up and let me know. All right. Generally, as far as making radio calls, when I need to hear something, if you're talking to me, I might just raise my hand and just say, hey, you know, uh, I can need to listen to the radio. Just hold that thought. But if it's something important, speak up anyways. Okay. That brings me to my next topic of traffic. If you see any other airplanes around us, you're probably going to see some other airplanes out there flying today. Not a big deal. They're supposed to be there. But if you see anybody that's getting real close to us, like within a mile or so, or what you think is about a mile, go ahead and speak up. If you find an airplane that I haven't seen and it's within a mile of us, I'll buy you a beer. So if you see it first and it's within a mile, I'll buy you a beer tonight. Sounds, Sounds like, like a good deal. Yeah, it's a pretty good deal, man. Now, is that just for when we're in the air or on the ground too? Uh, no, I don't have that much money to, uh, <laughs> I can't, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but should I also be looking for air, for airplanes on the ground moving? Look for airplanes okay. on the ground moving. Most likely we're going to be moving pretty slow and so are they. If you see anyone that's getting, you know, moving pretty quick or coming close to us where you think we might actually meet somewhere in the middle, absolutely okay. speak up. Okay. Yep. Really appreciate that. Besides all that stuff, that's really all I've got for you on my passenger brief. Do you have any questions for me? Oh, just, just go fly. Cool, man. It's a pretty good weather day. Clear skies. The sun's going down. It's going to be nice and smooth up there. Really don't expect much turbulence at all. And uh should be a beautiful, beautiful day. Just uh, speak up if you got any questions in the air. And it's going to be fun. Let's do it. Awesome.